How vicious gorillas are. Gorillas are large primates native to the forests of Central and East Africa. They are the largest of all primates, with males weighing between 200 and 400 pounds and standing up to 5.6 feet tall when standing upright. Females are smaller, weighing between 100 and 200 pounds and standing up to 4.7 feet tall when standing upright. Gorillas have long, muscular arms, a barrel-shaped chest, and a broad, round heads. They are covered in a thick, shaggy coat of black hair, which helps to keep them warm in their rainforest habitat. Gorillas live in a variety of habitats, including lowland rainforests, montane forests, and bamboo forests. They can be found in countries such as Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are primarily terrestrial, spending most of their time on the ground, but they are also capable of climbing trees when necessary. Gorillas are herbivores and primarily feed on a diet of leaves, stems, and shoots. They also occasionally eat insects and fruit. The Social Structure of Gorilla Troops Gorillas are highly social animals and live in groups called troops, which can range in size from 5 to 30 individuals. The social structure of a troop is led by a dominant male, known as a silverback. Silverbacks are named for the distinctive patch of silver hair that grows on their backs as they reach sexual maturity at around 12 years of age. Silverbacks are responsible for protecting their troop and ensuring the safety and well-being of the group. They make decisions about where the troop will travel and forage, and they also mediate conflicts within the group. In addition to the silverback, a troop may also include several females and their offspring, as well as one or two younger males. The females in a troop play a key role in caring for the young and helping to maintain social bonds within the group. The younger males may eventually leave the troop to establish their own group or join a different troop. Gorillas have complex social structures and form strong bonds with one another. They communicate through a variety of vocalizations and gestures, and they also use touch and grooming as a way to bond with each other. Gorillas Behaviors and Habits In the wild, gorillas are primarily terrestrial and spend most of their time on the ground. They are active during the day and sleep at night in nests that they build in trees or on the ground. Each individual constructs its own nest each night, using branches and leaves to create a comfortable bed. Gorillas are primarily herbivores and feed on a variety of plants, including leaves, stems, shoots, and occasionally fruit and insects. They have a varied diet and will eat whatever plant materials are available in their environment. Gorillas have been known to use tools, such as sticks, to extract insects from logs or to scoop up water. Gorillas are highly intelligent and have complex social bonds. They communicate with each other through a variety of vocalizations and gestures, including grunts, roars, and chest-beating displays. They also use touch and grooming as a way to bond with one another. Gorillas have a strict hierarchy within their groups, and the silverback is responsible for leading and protecting the troop. The females in the troop play a key role in caring for the young and helping to maintain social bonds within the group. 
Gorillas give birth to a single offspring every four to five years and invest a great deal of time and energy in raising their young. The infants are reliant on their mothers for the first few years of their lives and will often ride on their mothers' backs as they move through the forest. Threats to Gorillas Gorillas face a number of threats in the wild, including habitat loss and poaching. Habitat loss is a major threat to gorillas, as the forests in which they live are being destroyed or degraded due to logging, mining, and other forms of development. This leaves gorillas with less space to live and forage, and it can also lead to conflict with humans as gorillas are forced to venture out of the forest in search of food. Poaching is another significant threat to gorillas. Gorillas are sometimes killed for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in some areas. They are also killed for their body parts, which are used in traditional medicines. The illegal trade in gorilla parts is a major threat to the survival of these animals. Climate change is also a concern for gorillas, as it can affect the availability of food and water in their habitat. Drought and other extreme weather events can make it difficult for gorillas to find the resources they need to survive. The conservation of gorillas is important for the survival of these animals and for the health of the ecosystems in which they live. Gorillas play a vital role in the forests of Central and East Africa, and their loss would have significant impacts on the plants and animals that depend on them. Conservation Efforts There are a number of efforts underway to protect and preserve gorillas in the wild. These efforts include Protecting and preserving gorilla habitat, efforts are being made to protect and preserve the forests in which gorillas live, including through the creation of national parks and other protected areas. Anti-poaching efforts, organizations such as the Wildlife Conservation Society and the Jane Goodall Institute work to combat poaching and the illegal trade in gorilla parts. This includes efforts to enforce poaching laws, educate local communities about the importance of conservation, and provide alternative livelihoods for those who may be tempted to engage in poaching. Rehabilitation and release programs, in some cases, gorillas that have been injured or orphaned may be rescued and brought to rehabilitation centers, where they are cared for and eventually released back into the wild. Research and monitoring. Researchers are studying gorillas in the wild to better understand their behavior, ecology, and conservation needs. This research helps inform conservation efforts and can help to identify areas where additional protection is needed. Education and outreach. Many conservation organizations work to educate the public about gorillas and the importance of conservation. This can include educational programs in schools, community outreach efforts, and public awareness campaigns. Overall, the conservation of gorillas is a complex and ongoing effort that requires the cooperation and support of governments, conservation organizations, local communities, and individuals around the world. Diane Fossey Diane Fossey was an American zoologist and conservationist who is best known for her work studying and protecting gorillas in the wild. Fossey was born in San Francisco, California in 1932 and studied occupational therapy at San Jose State College before studying at the University of California, Berkeley. In 1967, Fossey traveled to the Rwandan side of the Virunga Mountains to begin her long-term study of gorillas. She established the Karazok Research Center, which remains an important center for gorilla conservation and research to this day. Fossey's research focused on the behavior, ecology, and conservation of gorillas, and she spent over 18 years in the field studying gorillas. Fossey developed strong bonds with the gorillas she studied and worked to protect them from poachers. She implemented anti-poaching patrols, working with local communities to combat the illegal hunting of gorillas. 
she also developed a successful habituation program, which allowed researchers and tourists to safely observe gorillas in the wild. Fossey's work brought international attention to the plight of gorillas and helped to increase public awareness and support for conservation efforts. Unfortunately, Fossey was murdered in her cabin in 1985. The crime remains unsolved, but it is widely believed that it was linked to her conservation efforts. The Karas Oak Research Center, which she founded and left behind, continues to be an important organization for the protection of gorillas. Fossey's work was recorded in her book Gorillas in the Mist. That book was later adapted into a 1988 movie of the same name, where she was played by actress Sigourney Weaver. Finally, spreading awareness and educating friends and family about the importance of gorillas and the need to protect them, can help create a ripple effect to increase conservation efforts. By working together, we can help to ensure a future for gorillas and the ecosystems in which they live. Thanking for watching. Please subscribe and like the video.